What is up everybody? Hazeblade here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Nikolai's build once again with a completely revamped version of it. Uh, in fact, it's so revamped that it has absolutely nothing to do with the previous build that we've looked at before. Uh, this one is called the Reinforced Trap Build. And the idea behind this, even though Nikolai is not really, traps aren't really a big part of his build, we are kind of leveraging traps pretty heavily in this build. Uh, so I'll take you through all of the skills and everything, as well as what our objectives are when we are in the saddle. So, uh, of course, we're going to be using Relentless with Nemesis because Tracker Mines being a trap build, that's kind of going to be the emphasis of what we're going for. Uh, we also have tracking rounds, which we're going to be tracking with uh, mag expansion, being able to track with extra ammo in the machine gun, as well as the goop gun and the air gun, or the air cannon. We're going to be running radar pulse just to allow us to actively track everyone on a regular basis. We'll also be popping this before we summon Nemesis, just to make sure that we're getting extra damage off from the get-go. And we'll be using the reinforced leg hold trap. Since this is a trap build, we want as many traps in circulation as possible. Over to the equipment, we are reinforcing these traps to the max with this build, hence why it's called the Reinforced Trap Build. So we are running all three steel pressure plates, and on top of that, we're also running high-tech materials, which is the fourth ability that allows you to increase trap durability. So if you look at this, there's actually only 14 points in use. We'll be doing some variants of this build that do use a little bit more points. However, this is a very viable build when you're running up against people, as long as they're not using metal solvents, they're going to waste tons of ammo trying to take out these traps if there's a martin in the group it takes an absurd amount of time for martin to disarm these that between all of your firearm abilities that you have with the machine gun the air cannon and the goop gun you should be able to stop martin in his tracks before he has a chance to disarm any of them looking at the deck we have a bit of an interesting setup for the deck so we actually are trying to get discounts on both firearms and for traps with this build so you'll notice that we use the energy booster to achieve that with the traps and we can actually get, of course, tracker mines are a one cost. We're going to be able to get land mines and lockdown traps right away to a one cost with an energy booster. And of course, the leg hold and the high explosives are going to be a two and three cost, respectively. We'll also be handling the efficiency mod for firearms the entire match, which is going to give us one cost air cannons, two cost immobilizing rounds, and three cost machine guns. So this is a low cost build. That's pretty much the goal with every Nikolai build because energy gen is really low with Nikolai. This is a way for us to be able to cycle through things quickly by using low cost rather than trying to generate a ton of energy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into a match and I'll show you what this build looks like and we'll take it from there. See you there. All right, here we go. You are all as good as did. So starting off, we're going to want to get that efficiency mod as always. Now, as you're starting to cycle for that, you want to be taking a look at your hand because with this particular build, this is not one that you can just kind of throw cards away whenever just to get utilization out of it. You really have to think about what's in your hand as you start making plays you cannot run away and not so jumping easily. the gun on what's in your hand. All right, so this group is going to be taking out cameras this pretty quickly, so we are going to have to move quick here if we want a chance. <laughs> you found that? <laughs> what amateur put it there? So here's the first example of where this build starts to slow down a little bit is that before I can really do much of anything else, I have to play this machine gun in order to get the most effective use. And they are starting to work on that camera, so I need to be ready for that. Ah, you have a key. I doubt you will live to use it. <laughs> All right, they were able to get it before I was able to the get door out. Is locked, and the seconds of your life take away. Okay. 
Okay, apparently my goop went over top of that guy. Of our friend Tyrone over here. Run away so, easily. so just look at how much ammo they're tying up with, with just this one trap right here. So the goal with this build is obviously to use traps as a way to very rapidly whittle the resource pool down. And in doing so... Alright, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too proud of my my air cannon there. Because I don't want I don't want to feed them time, and unfortunately I wasn't able to I wasn't able to fully mitigate that there, but that's okay. Alright, so they're gonna start stepping on some of these mines. We're gonna back out. And we're gonna start setting up. So I'm probably not gonna play anything else, but as you can see, we're already depleting a massive amount of resources and running them out of time. So although they're gonna have just under four minutes at the end of this, or rather at the beginning of area two, we're gonna be able to start unleashing some crazy combos here. And, and the goal is that now that we've taken away a ton of their resources, they're obviously going to be able to replenish some now that they're buying up resources here, or buying up ammo and weapons here. But once Nemesis comes out, the idea is that we're going to have set traps around the area that when the survivors are fleeing, they're going to start running over a ton of these traps and just wasting insane amounts of time. The door is locked. And the seconds of your life tick away. So I don't want to play too much here because I still need to have some resources to charge up my firearms. But it looks like they are going to all group up and tackle this door. So we can go ahead and shoot them all there. I'm going to try to get as much damage as I can. That didn't quite work. But that's all right. Now, Tyrone just used... His fever skill, which means that as soon as that is done, which is going to be very soon, me angry will only make this and now is a great time to go ahead and unleash Nemesis. It feels no pain. I will end yours forever. All right, let's be patient here. All right. Since I'm kind of in a bad spot at the moment, I've got to pick a target and roll with it. And it looks like Tyrone is actually on his way to eliminate Yorick. So we're going to go ahead and move that way and tackle that situation. And again, since his fever skill is off cooldown, this should be pretty quick work. Tyrone is running vests from the looks of things. So, this means that we're going to have to be extra diligent when it comes to laying down our traps. So we can properly execute on this strategy. Alright, so as Tyrone comes through, let's start working on a few of these. Alright, now I do need to use this blinding flash before I get into much of anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and use First that I now. Sight, then I take your life! That wasn't quite where I was hoping it would land. That's all right. 
Come on, give me something. You try too long, you lose. I get paid. All right. So knowing that they're gonna head this way, we're gonna go ahead and start laying down traps on this side. Don't think I'm gonna have enough before he gets to this terminal. Maybe I will. Let's see. There we go. Very nice. There's plenty of time. <laughs> And that's how it's done. This is not GG. So what's incredibly important with this build is that you have to be patient and you have to wait your turn when it comes to managing resources in your hand. You're not always going to be in a position where you can just play whatever's in there. You have to look at how much bioenergy you have. You have to look at what's currently in your hand, especially when you're waiting for the trap booster. You never want to use that unless you have two traps in your hand. And if one of those traps is a tracker mine, you want to use the tracker mine first and cycle into something a little bit higher cost to make it more worth your while so you're not wasting that trap booster when it comes by. So that's going to do it for this video. Be on the lookout for another video where we'll be doing a variant of this build. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.